Welcome back to the Explanation Pro. Today I'll recap a horror sci-fi film called, Frankenstein's Army. Spoilers incoming. The movie begins with a Russian soldier named Dmitri introducing himself in the camera. He explains that he is instructed by Stalin to film the heroic deeds of a reconnaissance unit consisting of Sergei, Vasily, Ivan, Alexei, Sasha, and their leader, Sergeant Novikov. Then, we see various shots of Dmitri of the unit's different activities, including the unit's mission to take down an enemy sniper's nest. Later while resting, Sergei tries to use the radio to connect to their base but keeps failing. Dmitri approaches him for an interview when he is called by Novikov as he spots a farm. The unit raids the farm and we next see them drunk. The next morning, they receive a distress call to which they immediately attend. Novikov asks for further information about the soldiers, but it only repeats its call which is the coordinates of their location. After pinpointing the location of the coordinates, Sergei is suspicious of the legitimacy of the distress signal, but Novikov insists that they must save their comrades. He, then, orders Sergei to report it to the base, but Sergei says they don't have any connection to the base at the moment, and the distress signal is the only message they got for two days. On their way to the location, the group comes across a corpse. While others continue their way, Dmitri inspects the body further when it suddenly opens its eyes, squirting blood on the camera. Meanwhile, Novikov comes back for Dmitri and reminds him to always stay with the group. Upon reaching the location, they are confused because there are no Russians nor German soldiers around, only the wrecked place. Sergei also points out that the damage is made by artillery, but there's no artillery within 50 kilometers from their location. However, they continue and move to the church where they find a pile of burnt dead bodies of nuns. One of them is still alive and Sergei proceeds to mercy kill the woman. They continue searching around the area when Dmitri falls into an open grave. Sasha quickly helps him and they come across many opened caskets and graves. Inside the church, the group is confused as to why the church looks more like a factory on the inside. Then, Dmitri asks Sasha to open the generator to see if it works. Afterward, Vasily calls the others and shows them a modified creature with a drill attached to its arm. The machine connected to its head turns on, giving life to the creature. It tries to reach for them, but when Novikov is about to shoot it, it suddenly stabs him with its drill, disemboweling him. Vasily puts out Novikov of his misery and mercy kills him. Shortly after, Sergei tries to contact the base, but he fails again. Sergei thinks that they are being jammed. Then, Sasha suggests that they should use the tower, to which Sergei agrees. This results in an argument between Sergei and Vasily about who should lead the group next. Sergei insists that he should lead the group because of their ranks, but Vasily thinks otherwise and insists he's been in the unit longer than anyone so he should lead it. In the end, the rest of the group sided with Sergei, and Vasily has no choice but to follow the order of the new leader of the unit. Then, we see Vasily leading Ivan, Alexei, and Dmitri in searching around the town. The group enters a facility where they see many animals. A man suddenly walks in and Alexei immediately shoots it, but not fatally. Vasily proceeds to question the man but the two cannot understand each other. Dmitri volunteers to do the questioning and starts asking the man where is everybody. The man answers that everybody is either killed or ran away. Dmitri, then, asks what are the people running from. Without answering, the man picks interest on Dmitri's camera. But Dmitri repeats the question. Stuttering, the man says from the things that the doctor created. Dmitri proceeds on questioning about the doctor, but he is cut off by Vasily. Cutting the man's finger, he made the man lead them where his fellow Russian soldiers are. The man leads them to another facility and down a tunnel, saying that their comrades are there. Dmitri points out that it's not safe to go and suggests that they should just bring the man back to Sergei. However, Vasily hard-headedly continues. But as soon as they take off their vision to the man, he vanished. The unit continues going through the tunnel. Vasily orders Ivan to look on the other side of the tunnel. Shortly after, a modified creature shows up and attacks them. The group fights it off while trying to escape, but it caught up to them. Luckily, Ivan shows up and saves Alexei. Unfortunately, more creatures appear and attack them. They manage to escape back to the church, but Ivan is gravely injured after a creature with a snapping machine on its head catches Ivan's head. At the church, Sergei is attending to Ivan when Vasily pushes him off, planning to mercy kill Ivan. But Ivan smacks Vasily's face, saying that he's the one who will decide when to die. 
He wants to find the man, and when Sergei asks what he's talking about, Ivan laughs at the fact that they stepped into a trap. Then, Sergei blames Vasily for doing actions without coordinating with him, instead of bringing the man to him, resulting for. Later that night, Sergei announces to the group that they will move to find their comrades in the morning. But Vasily points out that their comrades are dead, and they will be too if they don't leave immediately. Suddenly, they hear a gunshot and everyone is alerted. When Vasily opens the door, four Germans enter, a dying Nazi officer, an old man named Fritz, a nurse named Eva, and a kid named Hans, who are all hiding from the modified creatures. Vasily suggests killing them, but Eva bargains to help their friend in exchange for their lives. Unfortunately, when Eva pulls out Ivan's helmet, his brains come off with it. Angry, Vasily beats Eva and knocks her out. All of a sudden, they hear Alexei scream because he is being attacked by a creature. The soldiers shoot at the creatures and fight them off but more creatures show up. One of them attacks Dmitri and drags him away. Sasha picks up the camera and proceeds on helping his comrades. With more creatures appearing, they escape to the church's catacombs, but Hans was left while trying to wake up Eva. At the catacomb, Sergei discovers in Dmitri's belongings a radio jammer that's preventing them to connect to the base and sending them the fake distress signal. Angry, Sergei points his gun at Dmitri and tells him to admit the truth. Vasily approaches them, unaware of what is happening when Sergei hands him the radio jammer. Then, Dmitri admits to them that there are no Russian soldiers trapped there. Frustrated, Vasily attacks him but Sergei stops him because they need more information from him. Dmitri tells them that they're there to capture the doctor who is beyond the creation of the modified humans. They must capture him alive, and in the event that they need to kill him, the film will serve as a piece of evidence. The soldiers can't believe that they are sent to a dangerous mission without knowing the risk and is unprepared. Sergei plans to retreat and use Fritz to escape the place, but Dmitri reveals that he's a captain and they must follow his orders, or their family will suffer the consequences of their insubordination. With no other choice, they proceed to find the doctor's base of operations. Moving further into the catacomb, they reach a place where a chute is connected to the factory. Killing the creature that's dropping dead bodies down the chute, Hans is rescued. But Sergei and Vasily force the kid to go down the chute. While holding his foot to pull him out, they slowly go down the chute. Unfortunately, as Hans' half-body peek outside, he is killed by a creature that later goes up the chute. The soldiers manage to kill it, but Fritz is also killed in the process. Having enough, Sergei, Vasily, and Sasha decide to ditch their mission and throws Dmitri down the chute along with his equipment, as they leave. Dmitri curses at them and at Stalin when a creature appears. He follows it and spots more creatures working at the factory. Seeing him, the creatures chase him and Dmitri quickly hides. Recording himself, Dmitri bids goodbye to his parents and tells them the deal he made with the government. Suddenly, Dmitri hears someone screaming. Searching for it, he finds the doctor's office where he found an alive woman's head attached to a teddy bear's body. He, then, sees a picture of the doctor who turns out to be the man they captured earlier. He continues searching around the area and finds himself in a storage room where corpses are hanged. Unfortunately, he was spotted again, but he comes across Ivan, who is turned into a modified creature while running and it attacks him. When the camera turns back on, it's the doctor that's operating it. We see him with Dmitri and are forcing him to eat, saying that he needs him to be strong for him to film the doctor's work. Dmitri, then, asks if the doctor is Dr. Frankenstein, to which he confirms. The feed is cut off, and it backs up where we see Dmitri is filming Dr. Frankenstein's work. The doctor explains that his father used to say that people will be more efficient if they have tools for a hand. But when he did it to a cat, his father punishes him. When his father died, the Nazis closed the factory and sent him to the camp. There, he was asked to do what he's done to the cats to the people. Using his grandfather's note, he was successful in making reanimated modified creatures. Dmitri asks how the creatures followed him, to which he answers that they're simply still alive. Then, it is revealed that Vasily was captured and partially dismembered. Later, the two hear distant artillery fires, and Dmitri reveals that the Red Army is approaching within an hour. Dmitri, then, raise a deal with Dr. Frankenstein. It turns out that the government is interested with his work and wants his cooperation to make a next-level weapon for them. But if he doesn't agree to cooperate, they will wipe him and his army of creatures out. Without giving an answer, 
Dr. Frankenstein continues working, revealing that he also got Sergei captured. The doctor makes Dmitri choose between Sergei and Vasily, who is a better communist, and he picks Sergei. Then, the doctor operates on a Nazi soldier, getting half of his brain, while Sergei is attended by a modified Eva. Dr. Frankenstein reveals that he will end the war by creating a creature with both the brains of a Russian and a German. After getting the half of the German's brain, the doctor leaves for a while. Sergei begs Dmitri to help him, but he declines, saying that he needs to prioritize his mission. Angry, Sergei swears to take revenge on him. When Dr. Frankenstein is back, he begins operating on Sergei's head while Dmitri is knocked unconscious. When the camera turns back on, we see the doctor successfully combine the Russian and German brains together on Sergei's body. Then, the feed gets cut off again, when it opens, we see Dmitri strapped in a hospital bed. Dr. Frankenstein plans to attach the camera to Dmitri's head. Dmitri begs the doctor and reminds him of the deal, but Dr. Frankenstein rejects it. Calling the doctor sick, Dr. Frankenstein tells Dmitri that everyone is sick and it's incurable, therefore they must cut it out. The doctor also reveals that he injected his father with a paralyzing drug and he's about to inject Dmitri the same when an explosion happens. Frustrated that he won't be able to operate on Dmitri, the doctor packs his things. Before he leaves, he tells Dmitri that when he's gone, the creatures will go crazy and will attack each other and everything on sight. Dr. Frankenstein is about to get the camera when he is shot by Sasha. Frustrated, Dmitri curses on Sasha and orders him to untie him but Sasha didn't listen to him, proceeds to cut off the doctor's head, and takes off with the camera. As he is leaving, Sasha comes across the turned Sergei who is grabbing on his newly operated head and brain. Upon seeing Dmitri strapped in a hospital bed, Sergei quickly attacks and kills him, as the camera turns away from the scene and the feed is cut off. The movie ends with a photo of a newly promoted Sasha standing beside Stalin. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video please hit the like button and also subscribe my channel for more videos like this. See you in the next video.